Hi everybody, this is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's uh, just before 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Monday, November 4th, coming on this afternoon with the latest on a strengthening what is now Tropical Storm Raphael located over the Caribbean Sea. We've had data from the Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunter aircraft in the storm this afternoon, showed the maximum sustained winds are now up to about 45 miles per hour. The central pressure down uh, several millibars now to 997, and even some reports of an eye wall forming from what the uh, folks on the aircraft could see. And you can see on satellite imagery, shower and thunderstorm activity becoming increasingly organized near the center with uh, wrapping around and the development of, of more uh, defined curved bands of thunderstorms. All indications that Raphael is poised to st uh, steadily, if not rapidly, intensify over the next 36 to 48 hours. Right now, the center of the storm is located about 175 miles to the south of Kingston, Jamaica, just under 400 miles to the southeast of Grand Cayman, moving off toward the north at 10 miles per hour. And we are expecting Raphael to quickly strengthen here uh, and pass near or over uh, portions of Jamaica overnight tonight and Tuesday uh, as a tropical storm and reaching hurricane status during the day tomorrow and then moving near or over portions of the Cayman Islands as a hurricane uh, overnight tomorrow night and into early Wednesday and then reaching the western portion of Cuba during the day Wednesday as a still intensifying hurricane uh, before moving across Cuba and into the Gulf of Mexico. Now, in terms of the impacts, we're expecting now, expecting tropical storm conditions, very heavy rainfall, flooding, landslides in Jamaica beginning uh, this evening and continuing overnight and into Tuesday, where we have a tropical storm warning in effect, hurricane warning in effect for the Cayman Islands, where we're expecting hurricane conditions uh, during the day, uh, Tuesday and into Tuesday night. And we have a hurricane watch in effect for Western Cuba uh, and the Isle of Youth where we're a uh, possibility of hurricane conditions from an intensifying storm now forecasting Rafael to be a category two hurricane by the time it reaches Western Cuba during the day on Wednesday. Uh, now we've issued a tropical storm watch for the lower and middle portions of the Florida Keys and the Dry Tortugas uh, for the possibility of tropical storm conditions in those areas as the center of Rafael passes by to the west Wednesday night and into Thursday. Still expected to be a hurricane over the southeastern Gulf of Mexico but then as we get later into the week and into the weekend, we're expecting conditions over the northern Gulf to be less conducive for a stronger storm due to strong upper level winds, some dry air, cooler waters. And we are expecting Raphael to become a tropical storm again, albeit a strong one by the time we get to Saturday afternoon. So any potential impacts longer range for the northern Gulf Coast are quite uncertain, given the uncertainty in the track and intensity and structure of the storm uh, five days out or even beyond. So folks in this area should just continue to monitor the storm throughout the week. Um, in terms of other impacts, uh, with a hurricane, you're going to see storm surge. We're expecting one to three feet of storm surge above normal tide levels in the Cayman Islands. Uh, very serious storm surge threat developing for portions of western Cuba along the south coast, near and just to the right of where the center of Rafael crosses the island. Uh, we're expecting six to nine feet of storm surge above normal tide levels with dangerous wave action on top of that as well. Uh, let's move on to the rainfall threat, which is uh, one of the bigger threats and bigger, uh, deadliest threats in, uh, associated with tropical storms and hurricanes across the Caribbean. In Jamaica, in particular, very concerned about flash flooding and landslides, three to six inches of rain, isolated totals as high as eight or nine inches, especially along the south coast, and also expecting to see three to six inches isolated totals as high as nine inches across portions of Cuba. Uh, farther downstream, we're going to see the potential for some rainfall uh, spread up into Florida and the southeastern U.S. that we'll touch on in just a minute. In terms of the arrival time of those tropical storm force winds, they're going to be uh, reaching Jamaica this evening in the next few hours into the Cayman Islands during the day on Tuesday and then reaching uh, the southern coast of Cuba Tuesday night and into Wednesday. And if they do occur into the Florida Keys where we have that watch in effect, it'll be in the overnight hours into the early morning hours on Wednesday. Moving on northward up towards the northern Gulf Coast, the timing of tropical storm conditions if they were to arrive there would be during the day uh, Thursday night or into Friday. So we still got time to watch in that location there. Again, I did want to also talk about about the rainfall threat for portions of Florida and the southeast United States. Uh, too soon to get into specific totals, but there'll be at least the potential for some heavy rainfall as we get from Wednesday and beyond into later in the week with the potential for at least isolated flash flooding in these regions. So let's take a look at the key messages for Raphael again. It's forecast to become a hurricane as it passes near over the Cayman Islands tomorrow evening and Wednesday. Damaging hurricane force winds, dangerous storm surge and destructive waves are expected. Expecting tropical storm conditions tonight in Jamaica with the possibility of of heavy rainfall and flooding. Additional strengthening is forecast before Raphael reaches western Cuba and the Isle of Youth on Wednesday. A Category 2 hurricane now forecast. Uh, there is an increasing risk of dangerous storm surge or damaging hurricane force winds there. Tropical storm conditions are possible in the lower and middle Florida Keys and the dry Tortugas beginning late Wednesday or Wednesday night where we now have a tropical storm watch in effect. 
And it's too soon to determine what, if any, impacts Rafael might have along the northern Gulf Coast, but a great reminder for everybody there, it's still hurricane season. Keep an eye on the forecast as it evolves throughout the week. And then last but not least, the heavy rainfall and flooding threat, particularly in Jamaica, where we could see flash flooding and, and landslides, uh, also potential for heavy rainfall in portions of Cuba and the Cayman Islands. So again, a reminder for those of you in the United States, especially we've come out of daylight saving time now, our uh, advisory packages from the Hurricane Center are gonna be issued at four and 10 a.m. and p.m. Eastern Standard Time going forward. So you can uh, get your latest information here at the Hurricane Center, hurricanes.gov. We'll have the latest uh, on Raphael for you throughout the rest of the week. For those of you in the Caribbean, you can get information from your local government officials and your local meteorological service. And for uh, those in the United States, especially the Florida Keys, you can get local information from your National Weather Service office at weather.gov. We'll be back with more with on Raphael throughout the week. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan at the National Hurricane Center.